is a video series about people who are fearlessly fighting the language barriers for their companies and customers. Many people have gone before them over the millennia of human civilization. The stories are sometimes heroic, but oftentimes end in lost fortunes. This time though, it's different. The technology is ready. Nobody needs to suffer from the foreign language barrier any longer. The world is becoming massively multilingual. Let's talk with the gurus who make this happen. Well, yeah, let's perhaps um, zoom in a little bit on the, the niche because then you decided that uh, this, this problem can be solved. There is a, there's a technology there that uh, needs uh, more development, obviously, but um, ultimately we, we will be able to give every citizen on this planet equal language rights. All the information can be accessible to everybody. Um, so you decided, you, you started to define the space um, for Lil. Um, what is that space exactly? How do, how do you define that? The, there's text in the world that is read a lot and it's really important. And then there's text in the world that's not really read much and it's kind of ignored. And we wanted to focus on the text that's read a lot. So uh, that's why we focus on uh, enterprise language translation for text that really matters. And in the beginning, we focused on smaller companies because we were tiny. Uh, nowadays, we focus on larger enterprises because we've grown. And we're still trying to build technology that really helps improve the localization process for the text that matters most within a company. So I'd say that's what our niche is, or our goal is to build artificial intelligence technology that helps support the goal of translating that really important content really well in as many languages as possible. We set out to build uh, a better language translation solution for the enterprise and a technology enabled translation solution for the enterprise. So, um, the anywhere that a business has words and typically the case in any business is there are more words that are produced than those that are ultimately translated and the reason more often than not why they're not translated is a mixture of something like cost and operational convenience um, just the difficulty of getting words into and out of a business and so we believe that the way to solve that problem and that the way you can enable a business to translate everything according to its, um, uh, you know, sort of brand preferences and style guidelines for a budget is to use technology. And so we have built an end-to-end -end technology solution and augmented that with the best translators in the world that we can find. And we put those together and manage those as a complete solution for our customers. So anywhere that you have a, you know, a, a language service provider uh, in a sort of one that, um, uh, you know, is, is more a, a manual language service provider, you can unplug that and plug in, plug in our system. And we can connect to an existing TMS, we can be used as a TMS, and that's the, the customer doesn't need to buy any additional technology or service. Right. Yeah. We have a complete solution for solving the enterprise language problem. So coming back to the question, um, we read in the Forbes uh, article that um, you tried to pitch the, the software itself to, to the outsourcers, but that didn't work. So you decided to, to do a full service kind of business model We hire the translators um, as well and, and, and offer your enterprise customers the, the, the service rather than just the, the product, the technology. But why didn't it work? Why wouldn't the outsourcers take your technology? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Um, yeah, we we ultimately concluded the technology, you know, could have a profound impact on sort of the economics and the efficiency of translation. But you had to pair that with a business model that made sense for the human translators, um, and you had to do both of those at the same time. And so that's quite difficult. The, the changes that we've made to our business model are pretty different from those of 
uh, the more traditional vendors and um, yeah, changing sort of changing a business model structurally based on technology is a very difficult thing to do. And um, I, th I think also the sort of convention in the industry where each um, link higher up on the, in the supply chain dictates technology choices to links higher down means it's very difficult for any one vendor to standardize on a system of record. And I think that's really important that you, you can't really have um, a high degree of operational efficiency if you're trying to run a bunch of different systems and workflows and yeah. you just have to sort of run, you have to commit to one type of technology and one approach and then rigorously optimize that and build technology towards that. If you also want to break down the language barriers for your company and your customers, you need your language data to work for you. TAUS, the language data network, provides data and tools for machine learning and for business intelligence.